Hello, this is BBC World News Today with me, Karen Giannone. Our top stories, a dramatic warning ahead of the UN Climate Summit. The signs and impacts of global warming are speeding up. We have been breaking records in main greenhouse gas concentrations, uh, aiming uh, carbon dioxide, which is the most important one. The star treatment for Narendra Modi in Texas. The Indian Prime Minister holds a joint rally with President Trump. The British government promises no holidaymakers will be stranded as fears grow. The tour operator Thomas Cook might collapse within hours. And in sport, Liverpool maintain their searing pace at the top of the Premier League, beating Chelsea 2-1. Hello, welcome to World News Today. Ahead of the UN's climate conference on Monday, scientists have warned the impact of climate change is already hitting harder and sooner than expected. A report compiled by the World Meteorological Organization says levels of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere are reaching new highs and the world is heading towards three degrees of warming by the end of the century. I've been speaking to the head of that organization who told me things are looking grim. So unfortunately, we have, we have been messengers of uh, bad news. Uh, the global emissions have been growing last year by 2.1%, uh, as was the case also in 2017. And uh, we have been breaking records in main greenhouse gas concentrations, uh, aiming uh, carbon dioxide, which is the most important one, and, and then also in methane and uh, nitrous oxide. And, uh, and, and, and those are all... All, all striking news and, and we have been also breaking records in, in, in the earth system. So uh, we have uh, seen uh, uh, this warming to continue and, and last uh, July was the, the, the warmest single month uh, since 1850s and, um, and the last June was the warmest uh, June on record. So all of the, all of the indicators are, are, are negative at the moment. I'm wondering, you describe it as bad news, I'm wondering if uh, the extent of the increase has even surprised you and uh, outstripped the predictions that there were. Of course, uh, what is bad news is that we signed the Paris Agreement in 2015 and, uh, and there was a plateau in the, in, in the emission growth, but uh, during the past two years we have seen, seen this uh, previous uh, emission growth continued and uh, and, uh, and, and the ambition level to, to reach the targets of Paris Agreement between 1.5 and 2 degrees uh, target, uh, that's, uh, that, that's not going to happen if we don't change our emission, em emission behaviour. Right. I mean, and what prospect do you think of that message coming through and getting through, particularly on the eve of the climate summit in New York, which you've released this report in advance of? The, the reason why Secretary General Guterres decided to organize this uh, summit uh, was that he would like to see the ambition level globally raised and, uh, and, and awareness of the scientific facts uh, are going to be the basis of, uh, of, the, of, of, the, of the discussions uh, tomorrow. And, uh, and, and this uh, summit is, uh, is, is, uh, go, is supposed to serve as a vehicle to, to, to raise the ambition level of climate uh, mitigation and we will have a, a climate uh, meeting in Santiago in December this year and uh, most likely UK will host the next uh, climate meeting in, in, uh, in late 2020 and, um, and, and, and then we should agree how to, how to raise the ambition level of uh, Paris Agreement implementation. Well, that is Petri Talas, the head of the World Meteorological Organization, speaking to me a little bit earlier about that report that has just come out. You can see the latest science and analysis ahead of the UN Climate Conference. That will be taking place on Monday in New York. That's all on our website, bbc.com news.